Okay, this is going to be pairing a Motorola radio portable to the MSA G1. You're going to need your portable radio, an air pack with a cylinder, and the particular RFID tag that is paired to this radio. Uh, the first step is making sure you have the right tag. If you have your personal radio and your personal tag, you already know they're matched up. Uh, if it's a spare radio or an engine radio or reserve radio, when you turn on, you'll see um, a radio name along with a P number. This one is P23, so I've made sure I grab the P23 tag off of the hooks downstairs. Um, the first step to ensuring you get a good pair is to use your right or left arrows until you get to the BT uh, button on the ribbon on the bottom. Hit that, go down to devices, and if you have CLR, that's for clear. I'm going to hit that, it's going to ask me to confirm. And that's going to wipe out any of the pairing that I've previously done with this radio. It's going to just ensure a little easier process. Um, once that's done, I'm going to turn on my SCBA. I'm going to wait for the uh, startup process to complete. Once I get the uh, check mark with the green background, I'll hold down both green buttons and that's going to send it into the RFID pairing mode. As a reminder, we're looking for the green target that is right above the lumbar pad and that's where the reader is for the RFID tag. So now that the SCBA is, is completed at startup, I'm going to hold down both buttons. You have a blue ribbon go across the bottom, the RFID symbol will pop up. Okay, once that's there, I just need to quickly hold this over the top. It'll beep and give me a green RFID symbol on the screen. Now on my radio, since it's on, I have the SCBA with the D6, that's the number of the SCBA. It says pair request. Okay, I have OK or cancel, I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go through the pairing process. And it's asking me again for some reason. Hit OK. It's connecting. Okay. The beeps are it's going to connect very briefly and then disconnect. So once you've paired your radio in the morning, uh, it's good for the remainder of your shift and will remain paired to this pack until another radio is paired to that same pack. So when you arrive at an incident, turn on your SCBA, turn on your radio. They'll they're already paired. Once you put in your second stage regulator and take a first breath. It'll activate and it will complete the pairing and you should now be able to talk through your regulator and the radio by just keying up the lapel mic. Uh, keep in mind, uh, you don't need to yell, you don't need to talk louder than a normal voice like I'm talking now and that's how you're going to get your most clear communication is just through a normal uh, volume of speaking. At the end of your shift, in order to ensure that everything pairs properly next time, it's a good idea to go into your Bluetooth settings again, go down to your devices, and hit that clear to clear out any pairing you have, and that will help ensure a better pairing next time.